Welcome to another episode of Dolly Transformations. These are going to be our candidates for makeover today. We have a group of nine Kelly dolls that we got at Savers. They're actually in two little bags. And then these two boxed Barbies that we got at the flea market. We don't usually go to Savers, but Colleen got her glasses lens changed and then we had to go back a week later to get them put in the glasses. It's miraculous, I can see again. So my old lenses, so these are the same frames. My old lenses had a big scratch that was actually a crack at the top right here. And it was making light refract weird or something, I think. This week when we went to Savers, they actually had a ton of dolls out, which was really cool. Um, whereas when we went for after our doctor appointment, there was like literally three dolls in the whole store. So I'm really excited. It's not every day that I find Kelly dolls. And I actually only already have three of these. And one of the bags we bought because, um... I wanted this Chelsea. Well, uh, well you, yes, that and uh, the school office ran. And the other one we bought, um, embarrassingly enough, because we thought that Becky um, was someone she wasn't because the outfits were us off. Well, you know, when they're in the bags, they're like, they're turned funny. Yeah, you couldn't really see. And I didn't want to open up any of the bags because, well, you're not supposed to. And right now with, like, you know... The virus that shall not be named. <laughs> I didn't know how they would uh, react if you brought an open bag to the register, so. It turns out they're really awesome. Yeah, I'm really excited, and some of them have their outfits. These dolls are gonna need some opening, some cleaning. All right, we're opening the Barbies. Oh, what was her? Is that the, that's a, oh my I wonder God. where that was from. Someone got her six bucks somewhere. We only paid seven. So. They might have bought her at a thrift store. Maybe. Maybe that's why she was only marked up a dollar. She's got like some kind of moldy stuff. Ooh. Reason for purchase. Own collection. Gift for adult. Gift for child. How many Barbies do you have in your collection? Zero to 25, 26 to 100, or 101 plus? How many dolls other than Barbie do you have in your collection? Now, this is like not inclusive to those of us who are in the thousands. You're right. I feel very slighted. How long have you been collecting Barbies? Less than one year, one to two years, three to five years, six to ten years, or ten plus years. Okay, what if you're in the twenty plus years range? No, this is very exclusive. On average, how much do you spend on Barbies per year? Yeah. Under two fifty, two hundred and fifty one to five hundred, five hundred and one to a thousand, a thousand and one to two thousand, or two thousand. So hypothetically, if I spent like over two grand on brass dolls, that wouldn't count because that's no. about Barbie. And then, uh, well, it does ask you below that how much you spend oh, for okay. years other well, than Barbie. Um, is there another category like a D, prefer not to even think about it? <laughs> well, notice they include the thousands for the price. I know, but I'm I definitely good. don't spend uh, 2000 plus on Barbie because I get most of my Barbies either for super clearance or uh, Ooh, look at this. <laughs> it is a water bottle. It has a cute cartoon on it. We don't have any like this. Um, uh, may, now, for LOLs, that <laughs> one to 2000 <laughs> might be happening this year. Stamped. Ooh, those shoes are really pretty cool. Yeah, they're really interesting. Ooh, she's pretty though. I wonder. Check out Michelle Kwan. Oh, Michelle. Oh, wow, she's beautiful. I love her golden eye makeup. She, Yeah, I think she's really unique looking. I actually like her better than the Sleeping Beauty I had as a kid from KB. She's like even more unique looking. Her uh, headband's weird. It's like not a full headband. And it's Oh, you know what it is? The uh, last technology oh, is that, so probably um, make something make hold something. it in like you did somebody else recently. It's cool market research though. They should do stuff like this more often, like online surveys, mm. because I feel like, you know, all of them, they should do stuff more like this because I don't think it's really kids buying dolls as much these days as adults. And I feel like that could be really helpful, especially because, you know, people are more comfortable paying a little bit more money for better quality. This is the other half of the headband. So I had to do the laundry. This is a color catcher with some homemade laundry detergent and some OxyClean because some of the items were actually really grubby, but the box dolls didn't need their clothes washed because even though there was mold on the outside of Sleeping Beauties, the inside was fine. It wasn't like too damaged or anything either. So I just needed to wash these. And here I'm pulling out the hair elastics on the Kelly dolls because most of them were dry rotted but some of them needed a little bit of coaxing with the tip of the comb so they would fall open the rest of the way. 
and now I'm washing all the dolls. I do wash the box dolls' bodies, but I just use dish soap, not baking soda, because they're not like grimy. They just might have like some dust on them or smell a little bit like boxed dolls. So they're a lot quicker to do. And while I'm at it, I'm also washing their hair twice with dish soap. I am using a different brand of dish soap today just because I had bought this bottle when it was really hard to find dish, dish soap. But it's not the brand I like, but I wanted to use it anyways. But it got the job done. Any dish soap really works. I just prefer um, the Gain because it smells really nice. And here I'm washing all the Kellys. They were small, so the cleaning process went easy for them. I did use a lot of baking soda to scrub them because these Kellys were pretty old and they were grubby. There were actually a lot more of them at Savers, but the other bags didn't have as many good dolls. A lot of them were naked or duplicates, so I just bought uh, the bags with the dolls I really wanted. And their hair was pretty easy to wash too because they don't have much. They have pretty small heads, so I was able to breeze through them. I probably washed all of them in like 30 minutes. It really didn't take me much time as compared to a regular sized Barbie. So I washed their hair as I did their bodies, but then I put the dolls aside and conditioned them and detangled them all in one go. I didn't film myself detangling all of them, but it went again really easily because Kelly dolls don't have complex neck joints. They just have like a peg fused to their bodies, so you can be pretty rough with them. They're not going to break if you don't hold their head, so I just kind of grabbed their bodies and had at it. Their hair was really tangled though, and there were a dry rotted elastic crumbs that I got out with the fine tooth comb. You can always soak dolls if the elastics are really dry rotted. And here I am doing the boil wash. Again, I have them separated by hair type. And I did add some of that hot water in with some OxyClean to soak one of the swimsuits that was on the dolls because it was really disgusting and the initial laundry soak did not seem to take care of the stains. And the Kelly dolls kind of float in the bowls because they're so tiny you can't really prop them up but it's totally fine they're not gonna like have hurt bodies if they soak in the hot water and then the ones I'm doing last here in this bowl were all the Kineklon hair dolls and it looks like I did them really fast but this is sped up eight times I spent a lot of time on each doll I even reheated the water to do uh, my Michelle Kwan quote unquote her hair because her elastic was dry rotted too and it fell out when I was washing it and she had like a crimp mark from where her hair had been wrapped around the elastic and I really wanted it to be smooth because I was just going to put it in a plain ponytail afterwards. So I spent a lot of time on the Kineklon hair dolls because they get like bumps and stuff and then I'm rinsing them in cold water and putting diluted gel. People always ask me about gel. It doesn't matter what brand you use. I literally buy the cheapest stuff at Walmart and I just dilute it in water but I get stronghold because I'm diluting it. This clip I am doing their hair. A lot of these dolls had Kineklon hair which is super annoying to deal with on dolls of such a tiny scale so it was difficult getting the elastics in the particular style I wanted them so I went back and forth with some of the dolls several times until it was sitting just right and I also had to go like afterwards and trim up any of the stray hairs. Some of the Kelly's that had really short haircuts in particular had really janky pieces hanging out that almost made it look like someone had cut their hair that it wasn't a factory haircut so I just find doing that like finishing step makes it look so much more polished overall as opposed to leaving those hanging strands of hair and then here I am sorting through all of my Kelly clothes in storage I can't pull out the whole plastic drawer so I just put them in this fabric tote to bring upstairs. So I'm finding outfits for the dolls that didn't have them. I'm putting original outfits that I previously had on my new dolls and I also got some duplicated pieces and some extra pieces to a fashion pack that I already owned. So I had to dig out those bags and then you can see I'm I have this pile of different outfits that I was kind of seeing who would look good in and I'm also dressing up some of the obvious ones like my potty training Kelly and my first edition Chelsea. I kind of swapped their outfits around which you'll see in the next clip and I kind of really enjoyed this process. I don't 
get to dress Kelly dolls very often because I don't find them too often and I feel like the last few transformation videos the dolls pretty much all had their original outfits so it's fun to get to pull out some of my fashions and stuff from storage. Working on some photos for Flickr I just wanted to show you a comparison of my childhood Chelsea. This is her dress and this is the new Chelsea. Now I actually ironically got one of this nice dress on one of my potty training Kelly dolls like nine years ago but I only had this grubby one in storage so I thought it was only fair that the nicer doll wore the nicer dress. This is this Chelsea doll's dress that we had growing up. But she has like, do you see all these little hairs? Those are split ends. They look cute because they look like she has face faming pieces of hair but they're actually split ends but she's so much more vibrant. And my potty training Kelly over here got her outfit, finally. In this clip I had to add ribbon to my Sleeping Beauty Barbie's headband because it originally had plastic, um, like a plastic strip, which dry rotted. So obviously if I wanted her to wear it, I had to add something to it. So I just found this scrap ribbon that must have come from a gift bag. I melted the edges and then I sewed them to the edges of this headband and then I just tied it around her head. I thought about putting snaps, but I thought that might be kind of bulky. So this is 2000 Valentine Marissa before. Love this fashion pack. This was one of Colleen's very first Kelly outfits and ours is totally destroyed. Her hair looks like it's been cut, but it actually hasn't. It's just a really blunt factory cut. Valentine Marissa after. So I had to style her hair back in the way that it was kind of, but I connected the two small ponytails in the back because these pieces were a lot longer because of the way they had been cut. I think she's really adorable. She doesn't really look like any of my other Marissa dolls, but I love her reddish hair. This is first edition, Little Friends Becky. We have several of her, but this doll looks like she might be the nicest once we clean her up. And she's in a Pool Fun Maria's swimsuit. So that's exciting. I have the pool that goes to it. First edition Becky after. She's really nice. She's not quite as nice as one of my other dolls, but she's probably my second nicest. But the reason I didn't put her in one of my other original outfits I had is because only one of my outfits is really nice. One of them is really, really faded and the other has like a trimmed tutu. So I thought she'd look cuter in this fashion pack. Becky was one of my absolute favorite um, Kellys growing up. Winter treat Becky. She's clearly a newer version. She's from 2004. That's why her facial screening is different. It's cool that she um, stuck around for so long. And I actually have this fashion pack already. Winter treat Becky after. I never realized that they made um, so many Beckys later on in the Kelly line because I feel like she wasn't as popular as some of the other little friends. I am very fond of these 2004-2005 um, style Kellys these days, but I remember when I got my first one, I was kind of like, that doll is weird looking. This is first edition Chelsea, my favorite Kelly doll of all time. She doesn't have her outfit, but I actually have a spare dress, so that's great. And she has all of her hair still. Our childhood doll is pretty um, bald and has a lot of split ends. And this is the other piece to that Kelly fashion pack that we no longer have. First edition Chelsea after. You already kind of saw a preview of her before. She is so much nicer than my other Chelsea. And I'm really glad I had bought this outfit on a potty training Kelly nine years ago. Her face is so vibrant. I mean, she's adorable. She reminds me so much of LOL uh, Surprise Skater Girl. This is Christmas Tree Chelsea. She's adorable. I love newer Chelsea dolls. Pizza Time Chelsea was one of my favorites and she kind of looks like her. So that's her before. Christmas tree Chelsea after. I had to find her parting because it's supposed to be in two ponytails as you can see by the thatching. So I had to kind of uh, run my comb down the back to find it. I love this doll. She reminds me so much of my pizza time Chelsea that I had as a kid. This like newer generation of Chelsea's. This is um, Nutcracker. Jenny as the Flower Fairy. I actually have this doll already, but I assumed she was a little swimmer Marissa, but there actually is an eye dot difference. And 
That's her, and she's wearing one of the other doll's outfits. This is Jenny after. I put her in this cute little fit, uh, birthday outfit. I had to trim up some of her hair because she had some shaggy bits. This is Easter Eggy Liana. The dress on Jenny is hers, and she's in this potty training Kelly outfit, which I need. Easter Eggy Liana after. So I did boil wash her hair so it's nice and sleek because usually if I let my Kelly dolls keep any kind of a wave in their Kneklon hair, they become a disaster in storage because they're so little they jiggle. But she was one of the dolls that had her outfit. She's so cute. This is Pool Party Liana. Again, this looks like a bad haircut and there's even like some straggly pieces, but she actually supposed to have hair this short, which I thought when I bought her. And um, this outfit actually belongs on the next doll. Pool Party Liana after. She's one of those dolls that looks like she has a haircut that a kid gave her, but that's actually her factory hair. It's a little bit um, like wavy, like tucked under still because I didn't want it to go completely straight. I wanted it to kind of have its cur curved shape still. I remember really wanting this doll when she was in stores. This is Performer Maria. I had Tamika growing up and the outfit I showed before on Liana is hers and I actually already have this fashion pack. She's really cool. She has um, articulated legs, which is a very unique feature on Kelly's. Performer Maria and one of the dolls was wearing her outfit. So that really worked out. This is 1997 Collector Edition Sleeping Beauty Barbie Before in her box. Her ringlets are probably not going to stay as intact because I'm just going to have to like kind of brush through them when I boil wash, but that's okay. She's so pretty. Sleeping Beauty Barbie after. So I did sew ribbon onto her headband because the original headband just had that stretchy plastic that had dry rotted. And this is what the back of her hair looks like. It came in a bunch of ringlets, but she had... All of this, like, I trimmed it off, but it was almost like factory burn damage when they heat styled her hair. I've had that experience before on actually my signature Sleeping Beauty, and it looked really frizzy right at the crown, so I had to comb everything through and mess up all the ringlets, which is fine because those ringlets would have gotten kind of messy looking in storage, but she's gorgeous. I can see why I wanted her as a kid. I love her tan skin and her golden makeup. This is Asian star skater Barbie. She has Michelle Kwan on her box, who by the way was my favorite figure skater growing up. She's really pretty. Star skater Barbie after. I'm calling her Michelle Kwan. Michelle Kwan was actually my favorite figure skater growing up because she was cast as Jasmine in Aladdin on Ice. I remember my parents like recorded the VHS for me growing up. And Michelle Kwan was advertised on her box, so she doesn't really look any different. But I'm really excited because I saw the African-American version of Star Skater Barbie from the same seller a few years ago, but I didn't have the money at the time to buy her. And it was always a regret of mine because she kind of looked like Generation Girl in the shell. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys enjoyed this Dolly Transformations video. There will eventually be pictures on my Flickr of all of the dolls in this video. If not, they might already be on my Flickr. So check out the link in my description if you want to see those photos. And until next time, love your dolls, love yourself, and love your life.